Om Shanti, welcome to your 48th day of your blessing. And in this beautiful blessing, God is actually helping us to understand that how do we remain stable? Mind should be stable, thoughts should be stable, and have lesser amount of questions in our mind. And we're going to discuss those questions which come to our mind regularly, constantly, which if we evade them or remove them from our mind, we'll find that we are very, very stable and we become carefree. And this is a little secret which God has given us in Brahma Kumaris. The secret of the future, the secret of now what I need to do and the secret of the past. So when God has told you what is going to happen in the future, what all different events are going to take place in the future, in what manner they're going to take place in the future, then everything which is going to happen is going to happen for the good. When he's explained that everything is going to happen for the good, then why to worry? So let's go ahead and let's understand what exactly is God trying to say over to us over here. Baba says in this blessing, may you be free from worry, that means be carefree and always remain stable in a constant and unshakable stage, constantly unstable, unshakable stage on the basis of your faith. So how do we remain constant in our thoughts, unshakable in that stage? Let's go ahead. Let's understand the sign of those with faithful intellects. We say if you have faith in God, then everything is going to happen. But if your karmas are not good, if your thoughts are not pure, then I'm very sorry to say that your thoughts will never ever going to be fruitful for your family, for yourself and even for the world. So then that faith is not going to help you out. That faith is, that's where God is not present. He's not going to help you out in doing something which is not worthy of being counted into a pure karma. So only in case if it's a good and pure karma, then God is there. Then the faith is there. The sign of those with faithful intellects is that they are always free from worry. Who's worried? The one who is manipulating, who's turning around things, twisting around the facts who is doing bad karmas, who is greedy and wanting everything for themselves, that person cannot be somebody who is faithful. That person is not somebody whose intellect can be faithful. So, the sign of those with faithful intellects is that they are always free from worry. Such souls will never fluctuate in any situation because they know that they are following the path of truth. That path of truth is the one which makes them free from worry or carefree. They know that they are not harmed anybody or they are not going to harm anybody. Even if somebody is trying to harm them, they understand that that's something which they need to just tolerate for some time and it's going to go away. Because falsehood or badness or bad behavior or bad situations never last for a long time. They always go away and goodness in you will prevail. So, therefore... Baba says, such souls will never fluctuate in any situation. They will always remain unshakable because truth is with them. God is with them. And they know how to discern, how to find out what is right, what is wrong through the method of meditation and choose the right words, right thoughts and right actions. Therefore, no matter what happens, do not think about it. Do not go into what or why Let's say you decided to do something which was in good faith and it did not it did not actually materialize and you are questioning yourself. Then why didn't it go ahead? I had a good intention. Well, Baba says, don't go into those questions. Don't waste your time. Move on. Go ahead with something better. And you will realize later on why that situation, why that person did not allow you to do something. And that was always for the good. That was always for the better. There was something better for you which was going to come into your future. And that old thing which did not happen, happened for a reason. So, in a kalyan, that means in something which has not been good for you, not in your favor, something better is going to come into your favor in the future. So, Baba says, don't go into what and why. Be Trikal Darshi. Now, how do you become Trikal Darshi? Only God knows the past, the present and the future. When God reveals to us the future, imagine what is going to be your life like when you know the whole drama in front of you. 
you know what's going to happen what events are going to take place in the future and when you are aware of that knowledge imagine the power which you have you won't be shaken up by anything which is going to come in front of you so you are trikal darshi how do you become that trikal darshi being or a soul well for that you have to come and learn meditation at brahma kumaris so be trikal darshi and remain free from worry because there is benefit in every step since you are holding the hand of the benefactor father baba is a benefactor god is a benefactor and if you are meditating if you are connected to him in the real sense then you are holding the hand of the father benefactor he will transform anything that is not beneficial into beneficial and so remain constantly free from worry it's god's work when something doesn't happen don't ask questions why or what always move ahead move on in doing good karmas god is there he is going to turn everything which looks a kalyankari non beneficial to kalyankari beneficial that's his guarantee with this i leave you with this beautiful vardhan om shanti